هلو ابروان ام دكتور علاء مصباح بروفيسور اوف اوبستيتريكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي اوف ميديسن منصوره يونيفرستي توداي اي ونا تو اكسبلين سام انسترومنتس يوزد كومنلي ان جينيكولوجي اوكي ليت اس ستارت وذ ذا فيرست ون ذيس از ذا كاسكوستيكولوم اوكي تو بليدز اند سكرو اند هاندل as you see we open it like this and this is the screw we can fix it in place by this screw okay what is the benefit of this casco speculum is to explore the surface during vaginal examination also to do certain procedures like cauterization for the cervix like insertion of IUD like some operation in gynecology like Uh, use also in suction evacuation of the uterus so it is used for many indications this is called casco speculum let us go to the next one this is a uterine sound as you see this is a uterine sound it is used to measure the length of the uterine cavity this is marked by inches or centimeter here okay so I measure the length of the uterus like this, then I see the how the length is, 7 cm, 8 cm, 9 cm, and so on. Also, it helped me to know the direction of the uterus. If the uterus is the AVF, the direction will be like that. If the direction of the uterus is RVF, the direction will be like that. This is called the uterine sound, with many indication, as we said. This one, is multi tooth volcellum as you see has multiple tooth here for grasping of the surface how I'm doing certain procedures like ID insertion like doing fractional dilatation and the curettage so it is used for many procedures to hold the lap of the surface whatever the anterior lap or posterior lap or during operations like uh, prolapse operation and so on, gentle prolapse. So this is multiple tooth vorsillum. Also holding the cervix also during insertion of urographin or libidol cannula during hysterosalpingic gland. So any procedure needs to hold the cervix, you can use the multiple tooth vorsillum and it's less traumatizing than the single tooth. So how single tooth lock? This one is single tooth volcillum. As you see, this is single tooth. It's more sharp, it's more injurious to the surface, but this one, multiple tooth, is less traumatizing as you see. This is the single tooth, this is a multiple tooth. Both of them is used for holding the lap of the cervix during different procedures like ID insertion, like during uh, doing operation, genital operation, like during hester serpingogram and so on so on so on. okay so this is so what is this one this is one called metal cannula for hester serpingogram urographene or libidol cannula for hester serpingography we insert this cannula through the cervix then we inject the dye here by syringe Okay, to the dye will pass through the uterine cavity and to the, to the fallopian tubes and so on. So to test the patency of the fallopian tubes, also to detect any intracavitary lesion in the uterus. This is called hysterosalpingogram cannula, urographene or libidol cannula. What is this one? This is one the curette has two ends. Could be sharp curette like this one. This part is sharp. Okay. Can you see this one? It's plumb. Okay, so I have sharp or plumb edge. Okay, it is used for curettage of the endometrial cavity. Okay, so it is used during B and C for doing curettage and biopsy. 
This one is called curet, metal curet, plant or sharp one. This metal instrument is called Novak curet. Novak curet is used to take tissue biopsy from endometrium, endometrial sampling. In case with abnormal uterine bleeding, in outpatient clinic you can use it because it can pass easily through disorders to the uterine cavity and through this cellulated edge here, it will pick the tissue from the endometrium. Then grasp it outside so to take this tissue sample for histopathological examination. Okay, this is called Novak Cure. Another curette, this is a plant, one, and this is the sharp one, but you can see the difference in size. This is smaller in size, so you can insert this through the cervix when it is not dilated enough, and this one when the cervix is dilated enough to capacitate this size. Okay, this is the sharp edge, and this is the blonde edge, okay? Of course, you should be cautious while using curate, so not to perforate the uterus while doing curatage. Also, all instruments should be sterilized, okay? Not to cause infection. So, what's this one? This one is ring forceps. As you see, this ring and this lock, this is called ring force. So I want it to be repeat the items I said. You try sound to measure the length of the uterine cavity and the direction of the uterus. Test the speculum. I want you to see it in from floor. This is the casco speculum with two blades and the screw and the handle for exploration of the cervix during local gynecologic examination and for procedure like IV insertion. This is the libidol or urographene hysterosalpingogram metal cannula. This one, as you see, we put the syringe here. This is the curet, one small size and one larger size. This is a sharp edge, and this is the blunt one. As you see on the other side, this is the blunt one. So it's clear now. Those two instruments, as you see, bolsilla, one single tooth, one multiple tooth bolsilla multiple tools less traumatizing than single tools for grasping the cervix during different procedures like IV insertion, history cell angiography, and during gynecologic surgery like gentle prolapse. Okay, and lastly this is the ring forceps. I hope this lecture was informative and you, you know the difference between the instruments now and why it is used. Be careful that it, you may cause perforation of the uterus or introduction of infection during using this, so it should be sterile and gently use them so not to perforate the uterus with all these instruments which enter inside the uterine cavity, like Novacurect, which enter the uterine cavity to take tissue sample from the endometrium and send for histopathology through this serrated edge. Pick sampling of tissue the, for cases with abnormal uterine bleeding. I wish I explain everything and thank you. Have a lot close one. All these instruments are used in gynecology.